Hey guys, it's Mark Silver with Advancing Your Photography. And we've got some big, exciting news to share. You're looking at the cover of my new book, Advancing Your Photography, a handbook for creating photos you'll love. By the way, you can pre-order the book right now on Amazon. It's a compact handbook that's packed full of tips from award-winning photographers. Now, since the book won't be released for a bit, I wanted to give you a sneak peek of what you'll find inside. First, we're going to listen to wedding, family, pet photographer Anna Kuberberg's tips about how to capture emotion. You know, it's not so much drawing it out, but getting rid of barriers to get what's already there. Mm. It's not something you want to force right. or impose. In other words, you will see the emotions and expressions in the person that you're photographing that you can connect with that resonate with you. Because there's so much kind of flat, two-dimensional pictures about what, what love looks like. Like, okay, go over there and kiss. Right. And then that's the picture without really looking at how do the people really interact with each other? And that's the kind of the core or the essence of what makes a good photo. If you stop and just notice or allow yourself to see what you're not expecting to see. It might be like the way they hold hands or their, their feet are touching or somebody's leaning on their, the other person or their, the way they, they have a, like, a way they look into each other's eyes or like a, a kind of a a knowing look or something. And it could be something so unexpected. If you enjoy advice like Anna's, there's much more of it in the book. Next up is award-winning photographer Bambi Cantrell, and she talks about lighting and expressions. I just don't think there's anything more interesting than photographing the human spirit. And I am nuts about people, and, and I find it really, it's, it's always changing and, and you know, people are never the same and, and person, because everybody has their unique personality. Shadows and light, they are what create and give an image its definition, its dimensionality. So the first thing I do when I walk into a room is I take my hand like this and I start looking at the shadow areas on my hand hmm. as I walk around the room and see, is there a highlight on my hand somewhere? Okay, well I can see that there's a little kicker light coming across my hand on this side from the windows over there and then the main light is coming from this direction over here. So it helps me to see where I want to place my subject in relation to the light source. The most important element that has to go into it is having my subject forget the cameras there. So I really want to take a personal interest in my subject at that point, look into their eyes and talk with them and, and get them to forget about that monster, the camera that's there. I really want to draw from them who they are. So I like, I quite often will ask them questions about you know, what kind of things do they like to do? What makes them happy? You know, just, you know, really questions about, you know, what's your favorite color or, you know, what do you do for a living? And I pay very close attention to the expressions on their face as I communicate with them because small um, things will happen with their mouth or their eyes that will show a little bit of excitement and then really be able to pull from them great expression because at the end of the day, expression beats perfection any day of the week and if you have the most perfect photograph in the universe, it's a zero if you have no expression from your subjects. There's plenty more advice from Bambi, Anna, and a lot of other amazing photographers inside the book. You know, it's been a real labor of love putting it together, and I'm excited to share it with you. Don't wait. You can pre-order right now on Amazon. And remember, we love it when you like us, when you share, and please leave your comments questions you might have that you want to have answered, we'll be happy to get back with you. Now go out and capture your own images of life.